on the track. It's the men's T44, 400 meters. So let's go next door. Yep, time to head back to the track. Hasn't that little scooter been great this week? Wonderful. So the camera doing a wonderful job there, showing us everything. The athletes here doing a wonderful job as well. Men's 400 T44. Seven to go in this one. Including that man there in lane eight. Sandeep Kumar, lifetime best set this year for the man from India. Nira Alsana, the mechanical engineer who lives in Flagstaff, Arizona, is the Asian Para Games gold medalist. Inside him, Vina Kumar Lal, the second of the Indians. He was fourth in 2017, two years ago. He was the bronze medalist in the Asian Para Games last year. Emmanuel Di Marino, his partner, you may have heard of, Ayala Didai. They call themselves the dream couple. We shall see after this race. From Egypt, Karim Ramadan, 19 years of age, his first major championship. And in lane three, from Ecuador, Darwin Paul Vallejo. Believe it or not, his first major championship at 38 years of age. All your hearts. So Kocharang is a non-starter in lane nine. We have six. Who will go? Vallejo in Ecuador in three, Rabadan of Egypt in four, De Marino of Italy in five, Lal of India in six, Alsana of Saudi Arabia in seven, and Kura of India goes in lane eight. And they get away with no issues whatsoever there. And already going up very quickly is Alsana of Saudi Arabia. He's caught up to Kuma on the outside of him. He's already gone straight past him. And he is flying down that back straight. As is De Marino, who's gone past the man on the outside, Kuma, as well. And also inside De Marino, it is Ramadan of Egypt, who's doing extremely well. He's up into second place. But leading him around there, it is Kuma of India who has dropped back and Al Sana of Saudi Arabia as they come around into the home straight with 100 meters to go. So Al Sana of Saudi Arabia, the man who lives in Arizona, is getting caught though on the inside. The Egyptian is well and truly after him in his first major championship. Is he going to get there? Ramadan or is it going to be Al Sana? Al Sana gets it. 53-22 is the time. Egypt takes second place. And India pick up third through Lao. But Alsana yeah! is a world champion for the first time. 53.22 is the time. Season best for him. Outside his lifetime best of 53 flat. Ramadan picks up second with 53.39 and Lau 55.49 in third position with a bronze. Timorino just out of it. Coming home in fourth. But Alsana, look at those scenes. Joy indeed, his first global goal. He's a mechanical engineer by day. 
He's an athlete by day and night. Just had to be stopped there because he almost ran in to the wheelchair athletes who are coming up in a moment or two's time for the T34 Women's 800 Metres Final. So Al Sauna being directed over to the side, but he needed no direction on the track. Got out to a wonderful start. He took off really quickly. He caught Kumar of India within the first 50 or 60 metres. He raced down the back straight and looked as though the Egyptian Karim Ramadan was going to catch him, but he couldn't get there in the end. A couple of metres in it. Yeah, and Saudi yeah, Arabia pick up gold through Nala al Sana, the man who lives in the United States, trains in Arizona, in Flagstaff, where he works. In the distance, he's taking gold over at the throwing cage in Dubai. Complete throws. Joyous in scenes. Place. It is an Asian record. For Bahrain and Fatima Nedim, 10.95. The man who took Three Asian para gold World last year now has a World Championship gold. Season best, 53.22. Ramadan with an area record, 53.39. And Lau picking up the bronze medal, 55.49.